Right you guys, got another ransomware removal video here for you. As you can see we've got no password on the account and this ransomware, what it does is once I activate it, it will change the Windows logon splash screen and also add administration uh, password or administrator password to the account so you can't get on. Now what other things it does I don't know yet, um, but I'm, what I'm going to do is show you how to remove it with a Windows CD and we're going to remove the password and change the logon screen back. So let's infect it and see what happens. It will shut down the PC. Now once I start logging onto the system, you'll see there'll be a password added to the account now, which I don't know what it is. And the logon background has been changed. Now I don't know what other stuff this does to the system. Uh, I'll have to investigate a little bit more. Um, but as you can see we can't get onto the system and it's the same in uh, safe mode, safe mode with networking and also safe mode with command prompt, you can't get onto any of these. Now there's many ways of removing uh, passwords on the account, I'm going to show you a quick way of doing it, we're using a Windows CD. So let's uh, reboot the system into our Windows CD. Ok we need to push any key here, I'm just going to let this load up. Now you can choose whatever way you want to remove your password. This is just one of the ways. I've done loads of videos on how to remove passwords. So what we want to do here is click on next and then we want to click on repair your computer. And we're going to go next here. Okay, so once we're here, I want to click on command prompt. And once we're there, I'm going to try and find our C root directory. So I'm going to change that and then type DIR. It's not there, so it must be on D. Sometimes it changes the letters. So it's on D, and there's all our uh, files, our Windows files. So let's clear the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do here is copy the sticky keys executable and put that into our C root directory so we can actually execute the command prompt by clicking the shift key. So let's get started. So we're going to put copy D colon and then we're going to type this out quickly so you can see it's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do here remember to use the D let us if that is yours and what we're going to do is copy that to our C root directory or D root directory in this case and that's one file copied now I'm going to push the cursor keys here so save me typing it all out again and what we're going to do here is type the command prompt copy that um, executable over and what we're going to do here is overwrite now we've backed it up so it doesn't matter and what we need to do here is overwrite the actual sticky keys with the command prompt and it will say do you want to overwrite it? I'm going to say Y for yes and then we're going to exit this and then get back to the logon screen so we're going to exit out here and reboot the system just let Windows boot back up to the logon screen okay so there we've got our logon screen now we still don't know the password but what I'm going to do now is keep pushing the shift key keep tapping it until we get our command prompt box popping up like so and now we've got this popped up we can now change our password on our account so we need to do net space user and then the account which is mine's called test yours will be your name or whatever your account name is and then we can change our actual password now I'm going to call my password Brightek okay that's now done so once I close this off I can now type Brightek in here because our passwords change and we should be able to log on the system Okay, that's good. 
So the next thing we need to do is change the log on screen back and we also need to copy our file across back into the uh, system32 folder and you can see I made a backup of it here and now we're going to copy this back into our um, Windows system32 folder. Now you can't just cut and paste it, it won't work but I'll show you what it looks like. So there you can see now there's the file and you can see it's a command prompt it's been overwritten on it so we need to copy that back and I'll do that in a second but what I want to do first is go to our system32 and once we're in there we're going to pull this down and get to our folder where we want to be and this is the folder we want to be in I'm going to go in here and you'll see this is our background image but they've created a little folder here with backgrounds in it and you've seen I've done it before but this is the actual file I'm going to get rid of that one now if this this won't be in there on yours so what you'd need to do is copy this file and put it into that folder or you can delete the info file but I would leave it there okay so one last thing is copy our file back across I'm going to type CMD run this as administrator and then what we need to do here is copy C colon it's now C because we're on the desktop here and then we're going to copy this back to our Windows system 32 and we want to make sure we're overwriting um, the old one so that was this has been changed so we're going to put the new one back over there it will say do you want to overwrite and say why for yes and the jobs are good now I would advise you to run some scanning software ie hitman pro and you can run malware bytes and uh, I'd run some sort of a something like Gmail just to make sure you've got no root kits and TDSS killer they will be good ones to run I'd run all these just to make sure the systems all clean and this is the culprit here and we're gonna get rid of that right now anyway I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk and if you enjoyed this video please remember guys hit that subscribe button and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again guys Bye for now.